Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas and today we're going to make Asiago cheese. Now I've been uh, wanting to make this for about a month for back from when I made my bagels I thought Asiago cheese bagels, I like those but I didn't have any any Asiago cheese on hand so uh, I decided I needed to make some and then when I made my uh, cheese bread a few weeks ago using my cheddar cheese that turned out so good I thought man I need to I need to try to make a Asiago cheese bagels so we're gonna make the Asiago cheese today and here are the ingredients we have two gallons of whole milk and one gallon of two percent milk one package of direct set thermophilic culture, three quarters of a teaspoon of calcium chloride mixed in a quarter cup of water, and three quarters of a teaspoon of animal rennet mixed in a quarter cup of water. So let's uh, get the last of our milk put into the double boiler and then we'll get the double boiler put on the stove to uh, heat the milk up to 33 degrees Celsius or 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Well we've reached our target temperature of 92 degrees Fahrenheit so I have removed it the milk from the double boiler and now we're going to Sprinkle on the top of the milk our thermophil thermophilic culture. And we'll let that rehydrate for five minutes and then we'll stir it in. It's been five minutes and the thermic thermophilic culture has hydrated. So now we're going to stir it in to the milk to distribute it throughout the milk. Now we'll put the cover back on and uh, let the milk ripen for 45 minutes. We'll see you when that's done. Well, it's been 45 minutes. The milk should have ripened. I did check the temperature. It's still good at 92 degrees. So now we're going to add in the calcium chloride. Get that all mixed in real well. And now we're going to put in the rennet. And we'll mix in the rennet for one minute. And then we'll put the cover back on and let it set for another 45 minutes. At the end of that time, we should be able to cut the curd. Well, the curds have been setting up for the last uh, 45 minutes. It's now time to check and see if we have a clean break.
So what I want to do is put a knife into the into the uh, hopefully solid mass here and see if it uh, breaks away cleanly. And it gets a pretty good split. So let's go ahead and cut the curds. So for this cheese, I want to cut the curds into half inch cubes. So I'll first go through this way. Then I will go through this way. And finally, at about 45 degrees, all the way down to the bottom. So let's get started. So the curds have been cut and just taking a temperature measurement here to see how they look and it's dropped down to 90 degrees. So now we'll return this, we'll, we'll let this set for five minutes for the curds to heal and then we'll return it to the double boiler and bring it back to 92. Well the curds have healed up a little bit, now we'll begin gently stirring them and if we see any large curds we'll just cut them with the spoon and uh, right now we're trying to bring this uh, bring the curds back up to 92 degrees and uh, we'll hold that hold the curds at 92 degrees and continue stirring gently. Well, we're back up to our 92 degrees. Now we're going to hold it at this temperature for 20 minutes and just continue to stir the curds. They'll strengthen up over this period of time. So the curds have uh, shrunk up a little bit and released a lot away. Now we're going to heat the curds to 104 degrees over the next 20 minutes. Continuing to stir. So we've held it at our target temperature of 104 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And as you can see, the, the curds have shrunk down quite a bit, giving off lots of whey. Now we're going to continue to increase the temperature to 118 degrees and we want to do that over about 15 minutes and once we get it up to 118 and hold it there for 15 minutes then we're going to uh, let the curd sink to the bottom. So I've been stirring for 15 minutes at the target temperature of 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, this is what the curds look like now. So at this point, we're going to put the cover on and let them set for 20 minutes. It's time to uh, pour off the whey.
So I have a, a strainer here lined with cheesecloth and uh, I got a big pan underneath collecting the whey. I'm going to let this drain for a few minutes and then we're going to put it in the mold. Okay, I'm just gathering up the cheesecloth here. And then we're going to try to get those curds evened out in there. Tighten up the cheesecloth a little bit. Cover the cheese curds and put on the follower. And now we're going to put the mold into the press. And I need to adjust the height a little bit. A little bit more. And then we get uh, the mold centered and we're going to put on 10 pounds of weight. And then we're going to let that press for a half hour. And then we're going to flip it over and put, uh, put 20 pounds of weight on it. And we'll let that set for an hour. We'll take it out, flip it over, and put 50 pounds of weight on it for overnight. Well, the Asiago cheese has been in the press for about 15 hours. It's uh, time to take it out and see what we have. And there it is. It looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Now we're going to, we're going to weigh it first and then we're going to put it in the brine. Okay, let's weigh the cheese. And it weighs 2 pounds, 13 ounces. Let's get it in the brine. So the brine is 2 quarts of water, 1 pound of non-iodized salt, 2 tablespoons of white vinegar, and a teaspoon of calcium chloride. It 
floats a little bit, so we'll put a little salt on top. I'm going to brine this for about 12 hours. So after about six hours, we'll flip the cheese over in the brine and finish out the remainder of the time. Once the brining is done, we'll take it out and air dry it at room temperature for one or two days. Once that's done, I'll put it in a ripening box in the cheese fridge and uh, check it and turn it every day for a couple weeks and see how it goes. The cheese should be ready to consume in about two months. So we'll be back with a taste test then. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.